Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. Today I'll be showing you how to randomly assign names to groups in Excel. In other words, we will assign each of the 30 people in this table here to a group based on the group size that we select. Right now our group size is 10 and therefore each person will be assigned to one of the three groups. If we change the size to say 3, each person is now assigned to one of the 10 groups. To start, let's use the rand function to assign Liam a random value between 0 and 1. We can then double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down for all subsequent names. However, you'll notice that when we change the value of other cells, the rand function recalculates. To prevent this, we can copy all of the random values, right click our selection, click paste special, and then select values. Next, we will use the rank function to rank each random number from largest to smallest. Here we first input the random number followed by the range. We will also add absolute references by clicking the F4 key to ensure the table array we select remains static when we bring the formula down. We can then divide each person's ranking by the size of the group, in this case 3, once again adding absolute references. This allows us to determine in which group each person should be. However, since this column contains decimals, we can round each figure up using the roundup function. We can then filter this column by clicking Alt AT and selecting smallest to largest to get a better idea of the group representations. Therefore, Liam, Lucas and Paul are in group one, Evelyn, William and Tom are in group two and so on. Finally, we can test how many people are in each group by using the COUNTIF function. So we first input the group column using absolute references, followed by the group we're searching for. As you can see, there are three people in each group and therefore we're meeting our size criteria. Let's now test a different group size, such as eight. Now, since we have 30 names, the first three groups will have a group size of eight, while the last one will have the remainder of people, which is six. So that's how you can randomly assign names to groups in Excel. In the next video, we will cover how to use VBA to display the names representing each group as shown here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.